what's up everybody here we're doing a bit of a special game this is very different from the other content I've been providing this is gonna be a master Yi game now you might be thinking to yourself what the fuck is this why is he playing master Yi? well actually master Yi is one of my hidden pocket picks in challenger elo that I've been playing off and on frequently I usually play it when I tend to get teammates that I don't put too much faith in so I pretty much go 1v9 carry mode and the thing that you have to give up is that early game pressure so obviously we're against cutie pie uh talia jung akali uh and then they got Jin and morgana so their team is looking a little bit scary but i'm not really worried i think this game should be free i'm just gonna play off uh beating up top lane if i get fed i think i can 1v9 easy i'm planning on doing blood razor blade the rune king Merc treads ginsu's and Maybe Ma, if I get to that point. So, that's going to be my build for this game. Talia Jung is not a jungler that anyone really does well into. So, this is going to be a really, really annoying game, I think. This is hard to get a ward on. Yeah, it did not die there. That's good. Yeah. Hopefully, we can get a top ward. I don't know. That'd be good. Looks like uh, Miles has to base early on. Yeah, that's fine. They might late invade me. I don't know. Because I feel like if you're against a Master Yi, you'd have to cheese him. Otherwise, he just wins the game. Alrighty. So, we're off to the start. Usually get E second all the time. gonna do the pathing that I do normally for Kane. This is actually a really insane pathing. It works on many, many junglers and it's super beneficial in so many ways. We see Talia, so I'm just gonna head on over to uh, the scuttle down here. She might be on my blue right now. No, she's right there on the scuttle. Alrighty. Might actually be able to get a gank off bot. Oh no, yet. I'll get W for now. Don't think bot is gankable because they're still level 1. I don't really want to wait for them to be level 2 just in case they warded that bush. So, it's going to be cautious of that. I'll come down right now, I think. This should be a good gank, I think. We just need to make sure that we land our abilities. Alright, now I'm just gonna go in. I'm gonna try and dodge the Morgue Bind with my, uh... Okay, that worked out really well, so... I'm going to help them push, of course, of course, and because I think Talia is in my top jung right now, I think I might go to her wolves. I don't know. Let me just break this plant to see if she's there. Alright, well, she wasn't there, so she is in my top jung. And Akali's right there. Okay. So she has 16 CS, which means I think she took my Grom and my Blue, but it means that my Wolves are still there, so we can go catch that camp right now. Sounds pretty good. It almost died, uses his Ignite, or uses his Flash. like she's just dead she wastes her flash as well really good for us yeah sweet oh she didn't even take my grump okay so now i have a super big lead yeah that was a good play by darius we got her flash okay, it's a great collapse by my team i'm gonna be really ahead of this uh talia so once i'm six i'm just gonna kill her on repeat like over and over i'm gonna get red smite right now boots and dagger i think 
alongside with the control ward. Usually as Master Yi, you kind of want to hold your Q to wait for them to flash, which I should have done, but um, Darius had the kill, so. I mean, if Darius, mm, I don't know. Maybe Darius could have saved his flash if I just stuck on her. I don't know. Maybe that maybe that wasn't too good by me. I was contemplating getting blue smite just to help me stick on Talia, but once I'm six, there should be no issue. I should just be able to kill her over and over. Alright, bye you seal. Alright. Talia's in the river, we see her. Like I said, till I'm six, I can't really be as aggro as I want to be. Get the respect things as well. It's like Mouse is playing this pretty good so far. I missed that Q though. I wonder if I should have came there. It possibly went really good for us. We're gonna need a control word in that bush. Dry bush or whatever. Oh, dude, top is popping off. A great game so far for us. This guy can get six and just ult Akali. Anytime he ults somebody, we should be killing them. Yeah, yeah, he shouldn't be scared here. Oh, did this guy just fucking 1v2? Almost. And this guy's playing insane. Hmm, I don't, uh, actually I don't even want to try and kill that guy. Until I have R. This flashes up? Alright. Yeah, see if I would've went top, he would've just flashed away. Probably could've outplayed me. Being very weak until 6 is not ideal for a champion, but trust me, the payoff is insane. So, we're just gonna beat the shit out of Kali right now. I'm gonna ping my XP so he knows that I'm one camp away. This should be good. Sadly, I do not have a control ward, and Talia is going to be bot river. I think I might actually be able to fight her, I don't know. Yeah, there you go. That was pretty easy. <laughs> just ran on her. Yeah, pretty much I just wait for her to use her knock away and then I just Q her. I could have dodged as well because, you know, my movement speed. But, yeah, I just have no fear going on her. She wins so hard till I'm 6. But once I'm 6, I could just do as I please. And it feels great, honestly. It feels fucking amazing, dude. So... I'm gonna farm these two camps, base, and maybe look to... I don't know if I can kill a Kali right now. I wanna try. I think I'll just try, because it looks like she's gonna kill Maus if we don't. That's a bad idea. Wait, he flashed and ulted her when I said don't. That was really, really stupid. Damn, that's gonna set us both behind. So honestly, sometimes that happens. I mean, players like this, you should just meet immediately, I don't know. It's pretty fucking weird. Okay, now this should be big.
That was interesting. I'm just gonna get rid for now. It's 10 minutes just spawn, so this can help us get a uh, get some towers back, I think. Unless they die here. It's quite unfortunate. We got the rift, so that's pretty good. Just gonna farm until my ult's up, I think is the best idea for us this game. Just keep fucking farming, and then once my ult's up, force to play somewhere, and then just do that. I think I'll try and. I think I'll just get my Merc Treads for now. Will definitely help me uh, stick on those champions that I'm having trouble with. Talia's no flash, so as soon as I can, I should just kill her. 100%, that'd be good. Wonder if she just invaded these bot camps. Oh, she didn't actually. So I'm still really ahead. I just wish I didn't die for free. I hate dying for free. But honestly, sometimes shit like that just happens. I wonder how long it would take to kill that Scion. Usually as a master, yeah, I love to camp top because no one ganks top, so it's almost like a guaranteed no counter gank. But Cutie Pie is pretty smart, not dying for free, so I don't know. Just warded as well. Be cautious. Jesus, man. Champion's insane. I don't think I should rift top right now, but we can't take the tower. Because if we rift top, then we'd be implying that we can get two towers, but I don't think we can, to be honest with you. Could stall long enough, or maybe one could even live. Well, I think we could dive bot and get a tower. So that wasn't super ideal, but we did get the tower up top, so that's really not the worst thing to happen, I guess. So we just kill him. Like I said, if they said that many top, then we could just go bot. I don't know if we can get tower yet, but we should be able to. Eventually, at least. Yeah, that Akali's fucking huge, so... Gotta be very cautious of her. Hey, I guess I just gotta use my rift. Really didn't want to right there, but I forgot to check how long it was for. Tower and we got a one for one, so that's not that bad. 
I think Ma's gonna die for free again though. He rushed Cherelius. I don't think that's very good. Holy moly, the Scion just full tower, full HP tower diving. I should probably get Morello. I don't I don't think that that item's going to do much for us this game. The Kali has so much healing. That was the right item, right? I mean, the issue is just himself right now. He's just super tilted. I don't know why. There's so much fucking enabling for this free win. And he's playing a champ where he just needs to press R on Akali and we win, and he's just non-stop typing and complaining. I hate players like this in solo queue. These are the players that always make me feel like the game's losable, even though it seems like a free win, since we have such a better comp. I shouldn't be arguing with him at all, to be honest. It's not smart. Go back to me. I mean, I'm not going to mute him just so you guys can see how people like this type, but I'm just going to ignore him for now. I have Blade the Rune King after this, so I'm actually pretty big. Then once I get Ginsu's game's over, I think. Might, I, might be able to kill this guy first. Should be able to. It's pretty weak. His ulti? Yeah, well, if he goes up to tower, he's dead. Ah, uh, then we'll just go for mountain. I think Darius should come, but Darius doesn't have R. Okay, he does actually. Should he should come, 100 percent I don't have flash is the issue though. It's a huge, huge issue for us. It's gonna be a major deficit. Honestly, if we give this it would suck, but it's not the end of the world either. Alright. Yeah, if she missed my two, I'll just all that. Suiciding there for the dragon's not worth at all. Even if it was an inferno, I don't think it'd be that worth just because I have so much fucking momentum in gold. I ulted Sion, not a Kali. It's weird. Mm, I think they get that for free. Can't really do much when they just force like that. That item is just so troll, man. The thing is, is that in a team fight, I can't really do much unless we have like a front line. We don't really have a front line since this Darius is going full damage. So if I go in, I'm just gonna get one shot. Or like Morgue Binded. See what I might do right now that I'm thinking of is just get like a QSS. Just try and do something off that. Yeah, if we can fight in a scenario like this, this would just be amazing. I had to make sure I W'd her, uh, her, uh, whatever the fuck that ability is. Dude, she has too much fucking damage, I'll be honest with you. This has too many weird abilities that do a bajillion damage. Step one to climbing, boys, is don't, is fucking ban a Kali. I forget who I ban. I think I ban Graves, because Graves hard counters Master Yi. Don't worry, boys. We're gonna pop off soon, though. I think I wasted my Blade the Rune King on Morgana. It was really stupid of me. This guy wasted Ignite, though. Or was it Morgana's Ignite? I can't even tell. I wish there was like an indicate indicator to tell me. Oh well. Yeah, see, I think I'm just gonna get a QSS right now. I would love to get Ginsu's, but the longer I'm alive, the more damage I'll do. Just remember that. So even though I could, I have the opportunity to buy more damage, 
it's not going to be as worth because it's not going to give me more damage away. We might lose Baron. I just realized this. If double mountain, they could just go to Baron whenever. Just do it. I think they will. And they're 100% going to Baron. Oh, damn. I I just needed one more auto and I could have killed them all. Super unfortunate. We got them off Baron. I'm super satisfied with that. But, man, if I got one more auto off, that was unfortunate. I think I think that's really good, though. Really well played by Velkaz as well. So I'm pretty satisfied. I got the double QSS by coming in. All right, now we're going to get Ginsu's. See, I was thinking of also maybe just getting a Hex Drinker, but I don't know. Oh, actually, that doesn't sound like that bad of an idea. I get Hex Drinker, and then I just get Ginsu's. Because now I also have room for a control ward. So this sounds crazy, but look at how much AP burst damage they have. If I just counter their AP burst and stay alive as long as I can, I'm going to be insane. I already do a lot of damage. Ginsu's is just going to make me, like, one-shot everybody. So, I'm delaying that a little bit, but I think this is better for the time being. Because I really cannot be dying. I die, we just lose Baron. That would be really unfortunate. This is really risky. Make sure I'm healed up. Alright. He does not have that good of a smite, remember that. We do it quick though, but I do not have that good of a smite. Okay, I got it. Sweet, this game's looking like a free win, boys. You guys are about to see your first mastery challenger win in a while, aren't you? I'm getting a little too cocky. Honestly, but yeah, I think you guys understand the concept of Yi. You give up a lot early game, and then mid to late game, you just play really smart. Your build is usually going to be orientated around what makes you survive the longest, and what makes you put the most damage out. So, obviously, like I said, your two, your three main items is Blood Razor, uh, you know, Blade of the Rune, King, and Ginsu's. Those are the three fucking main damage items. Then after that, there's a bunch of options you can go, such as like... Uh, you know, there's a lot, like, uh, GA, Ma, uh, maybe even Crit, I don't know. There's a lot of Master Yi builds. Don't, don't fucking, listen, I do not play Master Yi a lot. I just play him as, like, a pocket pick. So if you're going to tell me, like, oh, this build is insane, like, the 700 damage, 100% crit, one shot fucking build, and like, yeah, if you're going to tell me about that, I, I, I'm not doubting that you're right or wrong, I'm just saying this is what I do personally, and it works the best for me, so, if you do another build and it works for you, hey, that's perfectly fine, but I think the playstyle I have orientated for you, and just the ideology as a jungler, for what objectives you want to go for, is, uh, very smart, so, the main things to obviously look for is doing a rift early on, if you can, um, Trying to pick up as many free kills as you can, learning the matchups. This was actually a pretty easy matchup for me, not gonna lie. Actually, uh, yeah, I enjoyed this matchup a lot. Yeah, so that's a free kill right there. Get another free kill. Yeah, there you go. She doesn't even do damage to me. I build so good. It's amazing. Dodge that ghost right quick. Wait, what the hell? That still hit me. Alright. Yes, everything just hits me. Yeah, sieging is not something I excel at. More of just like a team fighter.
That's not very good. Ten seconds till my R. I'd be able to kill them all. Yeah, we need to group up. With Velkaz poke, then we can probably split. That'd be good. I have flash and my R, so if I just use that properly, we win. 100%, no doubt. I need to kill Jin. Jin's like a huge threat, like a huge damage threat for us. So kill Jin. Like you usually for playing a champ like Yi that's a carry, you usually want to set yourself a prior order for who you're gonna kill. So my prior order is Jin, Akali, Talia. Actually no, I think Talia is above Akali, because Talia is so much easier to kill. She doesn't do as much damage, but Akali's really fucking hard to kill with her bush. With her fucking yeah, pretty much the uh, shadow or whatever, I don't know. The answer W. I don't remember. But either way, that champion's really fucking annoying to kill, so. Alright. Yeah, I can easily follow up on anything. Yeah, that's not good. Okay, is it Tilter? I don't think it's game, but that's pretty stupid. I just need somebody to go in for me. Alright, I had pretty bad folks that fight. I accidentally queued on Scion instead of Jin. I queued on Jin, I think we would have won. Damn, I lost Flash for that fight, that's so bad. I'm so ahead. See, I told you guys, if anybody starts typing, that's when you know a game might be over for you. Usually, like, there's so many things you could do in League to win and come back, but the one thing that you cannot come back from is if someone's just typing all game, super tilting. All you have to do is just ignore them and play it out. But yeah, I knew this mouse would just be playing super, like, on tilt and just soft griefing because how much he typed. You just gotta try and win. They're gonna keep forcing, so we just need a group. And I need to get on Jin. That was really bad. I could have actually killed them all right there, but I fucking queued the Scion instead of the other guy. I'm pretty sad with myself because that would have been really good. Need 500 gold. And yeah, they took blue. If I get this, I'll be huge as fuck. Need this before Baron. So just two camps and we're good. Don't think you should be trying to take red. Let me buy, please. Uh, they caught out. Damn, bro. That's insane. I got so ahead of myself and now it's all going to waste. I had such a big buy. It's so unfortunate. Well, yeah, we definitely, they, they just do Baron, so I'm just gonna try and get this. I mean, 
may not try it 100% solo it like that. It's easy as fuck. Oh, well, I'm really big, so I think I can still carry. I just need to play really smart. This next fight. Yeah, well, we got a pick. It's pretty good. Hopefully they don't fight here. Damn. Just got a team fight good. All I need to do is get on Jin and we win. I don't want to sell Hex Drinker and get a GA and turn this Skimitar into a. Uh... Alright, turn this into a Skimitar. I think that'd be super big for me. I just need to get on Jin. Flash now. I think we have to play this fight to win. Once again, just wait for me, please. I'm really huge. Sweet, that's great. That's all it took. That Jin fucking annihilated my HP. I think you guys could see why I want GA instead of Hex Drinker. Jesus, man, that was insane. Holy quackamole, dude. This might. This is such a close game. This is a great game for YouTube, man. Holy shit. Mixture of emotion. I could tank Borg Bind, I have QSS. Okay, great, great, great. As I said, I'm gonna sell uh, my Hex Drinker. I'm gonna get Skimitar, and then I'll look to get a stopwatch. And do a GA. That would be really big for us. Trust me. Let me just back all the way. I'm just gonna keep on going on Jin like that. Right in the base, lads. I'll run all the way back. Alrighty. Let's do some quick maths. I think we have it. Yep. You got a lot of actives. Press. Where your high mechanics come in, boys. If you got good mechanics and you need a 1v9, this is your champion. I mean, it's not really. It's just. It's all about dodging and pressing your W every now and then. Let's say Jin's about to auto me, then just press W during one of those autos. There's a lot. It's gonna cancel a lot of his damage. So to have my W and my stopwatch will cancel two of his autos. That'd be insane. I mean, if we can find somebody, please do. Please do. I would love it.
Alright, I didn't get her. Oh! Okay, I just played Ring Around the Rosie. Either way, boys, I hope you enjoyed the full Master Yi Challenger jungle game. This was an amazing vid. It was a lot of back and forth, a little bit of tilt, but all around great game. Thanks for watching, boys. Much love. Be sure to hit that sub button. I'm Karis Mai. Peace.